G'day, Dylan O'Donnell here from the Byron Bay Observatory. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, I don't even know what this video is about yet, but uh, look, it's been La Nina here in Australia. I finally understand how you English astronomers feel. It's been devastating. Uh, I've had to do other things like talk to real people and play chess. Be with my dog. Spend time with my family. <laughs> but I really want to get back to taking photos of space. The good news is tonight is clear and it's a Friday night, which means I can drink beer and do astronomy at the same time. They're the best kind of nights. So I guess what we'll do is maybe I'll just show you my preparation for what goes into the pre-game, what happens before I set up for the night. I'm in an observatory situation, so I've got the next dome out there, but we've had like massive storms. In fact, we actually sustained some roof damage here in Byron Bay, which let water into the building. Uh, it's been brutal. The next dome is doing well, I think, at least. I assume so, I can ping it. So there's a response and that's promising. Anyway, buckle up. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. After a while of this uh, inclement weather, the first thing I have to do is empty the dehumidifier. All right, the next thing I want to do is just check the cobwebs. You're in there? Yeah, a few little cobwebs in there. Doesn't look too bad. Just get, get the little spider webs out of there. And you'll notice that I've got my cables at uh, right angles here, just so I get normal sort of diffraction spikes instead of the vertical spikes that you get when you just have the cables just hanging down. I don't see any water, nothing shorted out. Web camera is still working. This uh, track's getting a bit moldy. Oh, this is good, but after such a long time, what I like to do is just give it a reboot, let its uh, internal Arduino refresh so that I don't get some sort of weird memory leak crash at the beginning of the session or mid session. Uh, and I'm gonna do this with the PC as well. All of this stuff turns off using Siri actually. So I can tell Siri to turn it back on again. But yeah, speaking of Siri, I turned my Siri into a black dude. It feels like I've got a brother that's got my back. Check it out, turn the observatory on. I've sent the request. Bruh. The observatory has taken a while to respond. There we go, Siri. Thanks brother. Sure thing. And then I'll start planning for the evening. I'll show you that inside. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is check my phone and just basically see what everyone else is taking. So the process for this for me is to go to Ice in Space. Uh, so I'll just go into my, oh, I didn't want to go there. Uh, Astro community here, we're going into forums. And the beauty of this is that instead of using any sort of planetary map or anything, you just look at what other people are taking because you know they're sort of in the same hemisphere as you and you can see what's available essentially. Tarantula, in sort of very close to the South Celestial Pole, uh, sort of a good fail safe uh, looking out over the south there. It's, you know, it's possible I could do this. Uh, M78, is that? That's available, but very early in the morning uh, from memory. But there are some great ideas here. The summer targets are coming around. Uh, let's just see where M78 is. Now we can see there here that uh, it's in that Orion region, in that huge, beautiful cluster, full of really great targets. It's image, which is head is in there as well of course Orion, Rosette, all of all of the good stuff for the summer. Uh, let's take a look at what Tarantula is doing. How high up will that be? Uh, so we can see my southern horizon there and yeah it sort of just drifts over there 2am so it's 
at its high point just after midnight so you know it's probably an easy one to knock over so the next step in the planning now that I've sussed out where it is on the planetarium and I've got a few targets in mind is to then jump into your acquisition software and work out how you're gonna frame it with your gear so let's do that okay so open up sequence generator pro there you turn the observatory off you got it coming right up Okay, so I have some other ideas in here that I've been working on. Um, the Pleiades especially is available in the early evening, so that's something that I might end up doing. I've got Dolphin ready to go, but I'm going to use the framing and mosaic tool here, which is just fantastic. I know Nina has an equivalent, it uses much the same data set, I believe. Uh, so in here, let's go for Tarantula. That should match, yep, it's got the RAN deck there, loading up now. Oh yeah, based on the way the camera's rotated now, it's going to look a bit like that. Now this might be okay because I was going to do one shot colour, but I do already have the mono camera set up. I could just whack a hydrogen alpha filter in there and just get some solid, just get some solid HA data on Tarantula. I mean, if I've only got one night tonight and Tarantula is this solid target, I can always come back and do the color later, either with a one-shot color camera, or if I've got enough time, just run off some quick RGB ones and really put the time into the um, HA layer. I can maybe even do HAGB, that way I'm getting away with just three filters. Uh, that might be the way to go. And if all goes to plan, I'll do it on Twitch. Because I've only got limited time, I'm pretty sure I'll only, I'll only get tonight and the moon's out, so I figure I need something with a mission, I'm going to try for Tarantula. Okay, she's open. Did you like that upskirt shot? Man, this is easy. This astronomy shit is just too easy. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Stars. Bang, bang. Guiding. Just guide. It looks fine so far. Oh, shout out to High Point Scientific. High Point Scientific are a vendor in the United States of America and they have a price match guarantee and they support their equipment. Um, so you really have no real reason not to use them unless you don't live in the United States of America. Um, and they also have no sort of incentive to push you between any particular brand because they just stop whatever, uh, which is great. So they focus on price and range. And really that's all we want these days. So if you go to High Point Scientific, tell them I sent you or use the affiliate links in the bottom so that I get some money because I love money. All right, I have data coming in. This is looking good. I'm just going to go and set up my PixInsight live stack now. Look at that. That's 